What's up guys, Omar here, broker and CEO of Alden Mortgage and Ome Realty. So we're gonna make this a really quick video. We're just gonna go through the mortgage rate update because nothing's really changed. The real estate market, the seller side is completely jacked up. The buyer side is really jacked up. Mortgages are completely jacked up because we ain't selling shit. And we're gonna go ahead and start going over to trigger leads. And what is a trigger lead? A trigger lead is when you run your application for a mortgage because we get to know exactly what it is guy like me is gonna end up calling you so please be nice if you end up hearing my voice over the phone don't yell at me too much i'm sensitive but we're gonna go ahead and go on with the mortgage rate updates it's gonna be five total mortgage products we're gonna go ahead and price out a 30-year fix a 15-year fix a 30-year fha a 30-year jumbo and a 500 adjustable rate mortgage and if you don't know what a 500 adjustable rate mortgage is by now it is fixed interest only for five years then it gets adjusted every single year according to the rate and cap on your product 30-year fix will be sitting at 5.25%, which is no change from yesterday, 0.1% better pricing than one week ago, 0.05% better pricing than one month ago, and 2.14% increase from one year ago. 30-year fix or 15-year fix will be sitting at 4.72%, that is 0.00%, that is no change from one day ago, 0.06% better pricing than one week ago, no change from one month ago, and 2.17% increase from one year ago. 30-year FHA will be sitting at 4.64%. That is 0.01% better pricing than one day ago, 0.36% better pricing than one week ago, 0.24% better pricing than one month ago, and 2.01% increase overall from one year ago. 4.61 on a 30-year jumbo, that is 0.01% increase from one day ago, 0.13% better pricing than one week ago, 0.10% increase from one month ago, and 1.49% increase from one year ago. 500 adjustable rate mortgage is going to be sitting at 4.43%, that is 0.01% increase from one day ago, 0.09% better pricing than one week ago, 0.23% increase from one month ago, and 2.18% increase from one year ago. Now, as you all know, the real estate data rolling into April and May shows that the U.S. housing market is softening, and it is, it is, because, you know, buying power has gone down. New home sales actually fell 19% to their lowest level since April of 2020. Reports show that 19% of homelessness cut their prices over the past month. Inventory is rising fast, while mortgage application and existing home sales are at full so is this the way that we're gonna go ahead and get into this correction are we in a bubble or a correction I personally anticipate that it's going to be a, a correction now to give you an idea okay so an example my house that I bought I bought and I this is not to glow um, I'm just gonna use actually I'm not even gonna use my house actually I am we got it for nine hundred thousand dollars for nine hundred thousand dollars back in 2000 at the end of 2000 we went into contract it got finished being built in 2001 in July from the moment we signed the contract until today, the house went from 900,000, which we initially bought it for, to 1.5 million as of today. So even if we did get, let's say, a 20% correction, we're still not before pre-pandemic levels. So in order for us to get back to where we are, we're gonna have to see probably a catastrophic dip between 40%. So no, there is no housing bubble unless the economy just crumbles, companies just dilute, everything just starts going to shit everybody and it won't be the, the housing bubble will not be associated with real estate this time the housing bubble will be associated with other companies just crippling to where the job market influxes so much short sales and foreclosures start increasing but as far as right now eviction moratoriums especially down in san diego the ban of uh, the no fault ban has been implemented then the eviction moratorium is still going on here in the la county and, and san francisco county that is not uh, set to expire in july 1st so everything is still going completely shit and sideways Let's go ahead and see what ends up happening. Well, it is a Memorial Day weekend. I wish you guys all a very, very safe and happy Memorial Day weekend. Um, don't drink and drive. Uber, it's much cheaper that way, I promise you. Uh, even though it's, I know Uber rides are getting a little bit expensive, but you want to know what's not, what's more expensive? Fucking DUIs are more, more expensive. I'm not saying I ever get it because I'm lazy. I'd rather get an Uber than do any driving while I'm drunk. I'll just rather just go pass out on somewhere and pay cleaning fee if I end up throwing up in the car. But up to 50% commission rebate, 0% listing fee on selling your current home or any mortgage assistance. Link in the description below. And if you did like the content, like, subscribe, comment, all that other stuff. Until next video, guys. Peace.
I wanna make it up to you, start something new Yeah, I've been thinking of the parts I play for you Now I'm drinking from the bottle as I do It's like a laundry You're on the wrong team Oh, there's a lie And there's a fight Coming out of me Every time I see Thank <laughs> you.